It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SAVC3. Now, when it comes to South African theatre, uh, our productions are among the best in the world, from the quality of the production, the scripts we write, and most importantly, the cast. And today, on the couch, Zoe has the opportunity to chat to South African theatre royalty about her latest production. The Fugard Theatre's star-studded production of Athol Fugard's The Road to Mecca has been extended due to an overwhelming response inspired by Helen Martins, who lived in New Bethesda and created the now famous Owl House, which is a designated provincial heritage site. The Road to Mecca is the story of a woman's desire for a personal and artistic freedom within the narrow confines of a conservative and highly religious community in the Karoo in the early 70s apartheid South Africa. Now, on the couch, we have one of South Africa's theatre icons, Sandra Prinsloo, who portrays the character of Miss Helen. Good morning, Sandra. Hello, Zoe. <laughs> Congratulations. I feel like that's an order for the extension of The Road to Make a House. The production been so far? Oh, it's been going wonderfully. It's been really, the response has been overwhelmingly good. Um, the response from the audience, from critics, but also every night it's packed out and people tend to sort of just stand and shout and so it's it's very gratifying one feels very yeah you feel very good you feel happy you know you feel that people have been moved people people really have to listen I mean it's not a short play mm. it's a long play and they really have to concentrate and they really have to listen and they do so that's wonderful and how's it been working alongside um, Marius Veyot and Emily Child? Oh, marvellous, really. I, I sound like a sunshine chip kid, I know, but, but it is. I mean, Marius and I have been working together for many, many years. Um, I was, I think, 20, yeah, when I first worked with Marius. And we, we used to play Juve Leeds opposite each other for many years, and the, then Performing Arts Council at Transvaal. So we know each other so well. As, and then we had a long break, we didn't work together for something like 28 years and then a few years ago we started working together again and we always say it's like riding a bicycle you know it's so wonderful you have that trust you have that immediate um knowledge of the person so it's so it's 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 lovely because you can really push your own parameters you know mm. and you feel safe and then the first time i've worked with emily and she's just absolutely marvelous i mean apart from being a wonderful actress she's also a wonderful human being she's okay. such a lovely girl she really is amazing now you mentioned you know pushing your own parameters i mean how do you portray the role of miss helen so well that you do because <laughs> it's quite a taxing role i mean the audience is. is responding to it hence the production's being extended it is, it is taxing. Um, it's, it's a long journey. It's, it's, um, it was a long journey to find her as well because she's quite a complex person. She's, um, you know, she lives within this world of her own in which she has these, these visions of, of building a mecca, which is really her place of light and escape. And she talks a lot about the darkness and about the depressions in her life. And, even to the point of where she wanted to take her life. And in real life, of course, she did mm. eventually swallow caustic soda, which was the most gruesome death, but that's not in the play. Okay. So thank goodness that we don't have to do that. So yes, I had to find this rather timid, timid human being in terms of ordinary day life. And yet she's a giant in her own world. When she's in her own world, she, she just expands and she just becomes this extraordinary woman who who can't cope with the small life that is offered to her in that little village and she certainly can't go to an old age home where she'll, she'll just lo lose her own sense of herself. You know, she's, she's built this magical life around her which sustains her mm. and her fear of losing that, of losing the inspiration, the creative force that, that helps her to do that is, is a very big one that, you know, and yeah, so she's been interesting, lots of textures to play with Lovely to work with Greg Cavallis, our director. Um, it's just been a wonderful journey. The whole thing has been marvellous. Well, that sounds exciting and very, very interesting as well. And what do you hope the South African, or in fact, not just the South African audience, but anyone that comes and watch, watches the show, what do you hope they take from it? Well, I think, I think it's a very good reflection of a certain part of our society where as soon as something is not understood, if you don't know what it is, you want to kill it. You know, you want to get rid of it, you want to stomp on it. And I think, I think for me, what audiences could take away is that there's so much magic 
in stuff that you don't understand. So rather explore it, go with it, try and find out what it's about before you criticize it and kill it. Oh, thank you so much for that, Sandra. I'm actually feeling so inspired now because I think a lot of people can relate to moments like that in their life. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Zoe. Be sure to support local productions. The Road to Mecca will be on the Fugard Theatre until the 12th of May 2018. That's every Tuesday to Saturday at 8pm with a 4pm matinee service on Saturdays. Tickets cost from 130 Rand to 230 Rand. So be sure to get your tickets today. So with that, be sure to support our local theatre productions. The Road to Mecca will be on at the Fugard Theatre until the 12th of May 2018 with shows on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 8pm and a 4pm matinee on Saturdays. And tickets will cost you between 130 and 230 Rand. But be sure to get your tickets.